Hi guys, for my one act pitch, I decided to go with Dark Light by Lindsay Price. This show meets all of the criteria. It is 35 minutes long. It has a large cast size with a max of 36 people, which is good because we have 22 people next year in HTC. And this show has a really flexible cast size. There is a simple set requirement of just three acting blocks on one side of the stage, but that's really it. And then there are two props that are used, a lantern and a fringe shawl. This show is school appropriate, but it does mention some more advanced topics, which is why it is meant for high school productions. This show is a drama with few comedic lines, which is good to have some comedic relief and so it's not dark the entire show. And the rights are currently available to do the show. Next, we have major characters. So in general for this show, there are 16 main roles, two men, four women, and 10 any gender. And then there is also thoughts, which are basically for depression and anxiety. Um, there are 10 to 20 actors that can play this, and I'll talk about them a little bit later. Um, this show is really unique because it has different emotions as characters. So we have anxiety, and anxiety they portray as a sharp pointed coach figure and then we have depression who they portray as a grandmotherly type soft flowing smothering figure and then we have lose who is basically the piece of the entire show the peacemaker and they bring positivity and it's kind of the light side of the darkness um so yeah lose acts and speaks with a positive purpose and then we have Mo and Van, who are the humans, I guess you could say, um, and some of the major characters of the show. Mo is suffering from anxiety, and Van is suffering from depression. Then we have the different thoughts, like I was talking about earlier. We have depression thoughts. So five to ten actors can play this, and this group demonstrates depression and they move really slowly in a tight mass. They follow along with depression, how depression is portrayed. So rounded, heavy movements, things like that. And then we have the anxiety thoughts. Again, five to 10 actors can play this. They represent anxiety and they move with a scattered, straight-legged frenzy, uh, similar to how the anxiety is portrayed. Then the next part, the anxiety questions, anxiety awake, anxiety alone, depression questions, depression awake, and dis depression alone dad. So these are characters that are within the depression thoughts and anxiety thoughts. So an actor that is in the depression thought can play depression question as a character. So they're characters within the thoughts. Okay, so for other characters, so basically a little side note is that this show is made up of different vignettes and there are tiny little plot lines within the main plot. So this slide also goes along with the plot of the story. So we have Mr. slash Mrs. Halicon or Halcon. I'm not sure how to pronounce that name, but we have them and Ray. So that first person is a salesman or it can also be played by a woman as well. And they're trying to sell their piece to Ray, who is suffering from anxiety. And then we have Rhea and Fallon, who are two girl best friends, who basically their entire conversation is about dating, but it doesn't necessarily state this, but it's within the subtext that Rhea had committed suicide and Fallon is imagining that she is still there with her and helping her with her emotions and thoughts as she goes on through her life. And then we have Theo, Theo 2, or Theo, and then Carrie, Liv, Mason, and Jin. So Theo is friendly and he's welcoming. His friends also rely on him. Then we have Theo 2, who is Theo's inside depression who is taking over Theo slowly. And then we have Carrie, Liv, and Mason. So they are Theo's friends. 
And then we have Jen, who is a new student who can see through Leo and basically see Theo 2 taking over him, and she's the only one that is able to see this. And then we have Van and Death. So they meet in an in-between world. Uh, Van is one of the main characters that we talked about in the previous slide. And then Death is kind of the opposite of the stereotypical Death, I guess. Um, in this show, he is cheerful and it even says in the script that he wears bright colors and even can wear a Hawaiian shirt which is really interesting and then yeah so like we talked about before Van struggles with depression and him and Death have a really interesting interaction towards the end of the story. Okay, so then we have plot line. We already kind of talked about it in the first slide, but this is even more in depth. So it's about teens going through depression and anxiety. So that is basically what the overall show is about. Um, these main characters are average everyday teens. The story takes place in modern day, but each individual vignette has their own setting. And then we have the initial situation. So the initial scene is where Mo and Van, they walk out onto the stage and they're joined by depression and anxiety. Depression and anxiety have their own conversation on their own and then they start to comment on Van and Mo and their actions and things like that. Basically the inciting incident is anxiety and depression surround Mo and Van, kind of influencing their thoughts. And then we have the resolution and the rest of the plot line. So the story then consists of small individual vignettes and show how different people are going through anxiety and depression. They search for their individual truths, but the resolution is that some of these people fail and some of them are able to find hope. Okay, so why should HTC do this show? So this show has a huge cast with lots of different speaking roles, which is really nice because a lot of different people can have the opportunity to be featured throughout the show. Um, this show also has a really interesting concept with anxiety and depression being characters, and it would be really fun and interesting to explore how to play those emotions as people. And I think that anxiety and depression are such common things that teens go through, and a lot of people could relate to this show in that way. The concept of the show is also really different than normal plays or one acts, which makes it stand out in a way. It also has a few lines of comedic relief instead of being completely dark all the way through, which is really nice. And I just think it would be a really fun challenge for our theater department to put on. Thank you guys so much for listening to my one act pitch.